buying shrimp to cook in your favorite shrimp recipe, be sure and go on the Monterey Bay Seafood Watch website and check out what's in the green light area because they'll tell you um, what's sustainably grown and uh, where to get domestic shrimp that's, that's good instead of buying some kind of questionable shrimp from who knows where. Um, so once you get the shrimp, and it's, it, I think it's nice to get it in the peel. When you, when you get them unpeeled, they, they can get a little soggy. And, um, but you do have to take the peel off. And the first thing you do is, is kind of pull the little legs off. And um, then you just peel back the, the, uh, this kind of, you know, plasticky kind of part of it. Now, I like to leave just the tail on. So you've got like a little handle when you're eating it. I like that in everything. So, um, yeah, there we go. Hey, hey, I gotta go to work. Oh, uh, wait, uh, so uh, could you, could you, before you go, could you show them how to um, de-vein the shrimp? Sure. Kind of the chef way? Sure. Okay, go ahead. And, and then I'll, I'll show you how to do it the, um, you know, the pitiful housewife way. <laughs> so first I take the knife and I cut down the back about an eighth of an inch. Yeah. And then before you lift your knife up, you're just going to grab that vein yeah. and you turn the shrimp outward. And if you're lucky, you get the whole thing in one turn and you pull that, pull that bit out. Awesome. Yeah. And if you're kind of, you know, just a Midwestern housewife, I'm not that though, am I? No, not really. Not really. No. That's kind of a lie and I'm kind of lying to camera. <laughs> I don't feel good about that. There it and, is. And uh, you can just pull it out like that. Yay. I got to go. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So are you picking up Joaquin? No. Okay. That's it. Our friends Mark and Tamara Sell spent four years in New Orleans helping put the place back together and they showed me a kind of version of this recipe, which I'm, I'm kind of jazzed to show you. Let me tell you how it starts. This is a uh, New Orleans barbecue shrimp and greens, of course. So um, it starts with uh, two tablespoons of butter. It's a little bit rich, but uh, with the greens, it, it works out for everybody. Let me turn the heat up just a teeny tiny here. And then a quarter cup of olive oil. Here it comes. That's our fat in there. And it looks pretty happy. And then um, three or four cloves of garlic. I suppose you could put more if you're... Um, if you'd like the vampires to stay away. Here they go. And uh, when you're cooking garlic and fat, be sure and don't have the heat up so high that it burns. That doesn't taste good at all. So Then, next goes in a whole bunch of cool stuff. Are you ready? I'm ready. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Here it comes. And a couple teaspoons of paprika. Ding, 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 ding. Some oregano, of course. Black pepper, very important, very important. Some salt. And then you need a little um, heat. Um, I've got some uh, red pepper flakes. You could also use um, Tabasco or, you know, just hot pepper sauce if you wanted to. Just depends on how hot you want it. I'm not going to do it too hot because we got kids in the house. One, only one, thank you. And a fourth of a cup of bourbon, uh, right? You're cooking New Orleans, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Doris was just there. Doris was just in New, in New Orleans on her way to Peru. And uh, when, 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 when is she coming back? <laughs> I don't know. Right. And then we got um, a pound of peeled and deveined shrimp, and those go in. Now you'll notice I'm using a, an oven-proof pan, and uh, so you want one that has a lid that fits. And um, this, this actually doesn't get cooked right here right now. It goes in the oven 450 degrees for 10 minutes. So let's do that darn thing.
while the shrimp's cooking in the oven, let's make some greens. This is Swiss chard, which goes really nicely with it. You're going to want to take the uh, stem off, or you can just peel it back like that, or if, or if you want to use your knife, you can take it off that way, and then um, chop it up like this. And these, these leaves were washed first. And uh, that's nice and hot in there. Now I'm not going to overdo, I'm not going to put spices and stuff in this because the sauce from that shrimp is going to make its way onto these greens. And here it goes. This is one big bunch of chard. And there should be enough moisture on here that it, it doesn't need too much more. Um, but if it does, I can always sprinkle it with a little uh, water. Just keep turning them until it cooks down. And you don't overcook it. Don't cook it until they're, you know, like sad and tired looking. Um, you want them to wilt, but still be pretty, pretty green. Those look perfect. All right. It's beautiful. Now I'm serving this over some polenta because that's my favorite thing to serve it over. But, um, you know, rice is okay too. Uh, what else? I don't know. I like the polenta. And I cooked this polenta with some uh, cheddar cheese and a little smoked paprika. Yes. Here we go. Some shrimp. Oh, goodness. And then you want to be sure and get down there and get some of that sauce, just like that. And drizzle it over everything. See what I'm saying? Last thing, lemon over everybody. Here we go. Yes. Mmm, it's so good. Hey, is, um, is Doris ever coming back? I don't think so. Okay.